Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's now Monday. I'm starting videoing early as I did last week. We've got bits to do. I'm not sure how much we'll do this week. I did do some video yesterday of the scape tank in the house, so the hardscape of that is in. I'm waiting for plants. I'll do the planting as well and look forward to that video. That one will be a while away because I want to do that in stages. I've managed to put my microphone on and remembered it again, which is always good news. So it's late on Monday. I'm making a bit of a start. I'll flip the camera around and show you guys what we're doing. So the plans are to move my Caradina that are currently on Akadama. So these are called Bloodshot. They're a cross between Red Tiger and Tangerine Tiger, I believe. I've got an infestation of snails in this tank, so it'll be interesting to get that scrubbed and just move the shrimp and not the snails. This tank's currently using a tower UGF, not UGF, sorry, HMF. And the tower Hamburg Matten filters are quite good for small tanks. I really like them, easy to clean. Good flow off them. The Busa Philandra, so that's mini needle leaf from Tropica. That's currently on some Katapa bark. I do need to get obviously the dead leaf off that. But what I'll probably do to remove as many snails from that as possible is run, run that under quite warm water. Not boiling, but quite warm tap water and the snails tend to drop off that. So that'll hopefully clean that and I can finally get rid of all this Akadama mix with soil. So the plan for those guys is to move them into that master soil tank at the bottom there. So I'm currently filling that. That was drained to 90% drained and I'm filling that back up with the correct TDS and then I'll probably leave that until tomorrow before I move those. I did have a Fissidens moss, so I've currently got that Fissidens moss in that grey bucket on there. Not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. Um, infested with snails, so, so I may just sort of leave it for the snails to, to dissipate. I'm not sure. I might put it in the tank on its own and treat for just the snails, but we'll have to see. So that's sort of where we're up to for today. I think the plans for the week are to go and get some more timber for the top shelf rather than using the MDF, although we might still use the MDF, and get this rack done. I want to move the pump. I want to change the air line at the top there and move the pump from back there down onto this very bottom shelf and, and tube it up and get my pipe work in place and stuff. So it's only Monday. We'll update through the week and see where we managed to get to i do want to move these as well but that, that's obviously my next step so welcome back to a snail infested tank there is um, an assassin snail in here bizarrely but i think these are just too small for him i did see him burying yesterday i um, moved most of the well i think all of the bloodshot caradina out now i keep checking the tank because I have spotted four juvenile and one adult since I've actually emptied this. So they're moved into these tank with master soil in. That's pretty much all I've done today. I do need to move this booster philander out. I'm probably going to run that, that under a, a hot tap. Just to try and sort of clear as many snails off. As you're probably aware, I'm not too bothered about snails. But I just don't like them when there's millions of, of them like this. Next step, I think, is to move my tangerine tigers. And they're currently feeding on chitin, which we do sell, which helps them to build shell and stuff like that. It's really good for them. There's um, there's about 10 in here, or 12. I didn't think there was that many, actually. But I want to add another 20 to that colony once I've moved them, just to try and get them going. I'll keep this going and just keep checking on this for little tiny babies. Because I don't want to let anything go and leave something behind. But I've, I have I think I'm exhausted. I think I've had enough fat of there that I'm going to get. I don't think I'll get any more. And they do stand out pretty well on there. So just to show you, have still got buckets and stuff in here. So the blood shots have gone down onto here. I lost one. So a lot, I did move them last night actually, but I lost one. And then hopefully tomorrow, where my air pump is there, I've got a new pump come in. I didn't, I forgot to mention this. So that pump at the moment's running this rack 
and it will ultimately run this rack but as I started adding I noticed that the flow was pretty low so I have ordered another pump this one is only a 35 litre per minute and the one that I've got running just this rack is a 45 litre per minute and I'm going to change that one out and keep that as a spare for an 80 litres a minute so the 80 litre is really powerful it'll be more than enough for what I need to do here and I could add additional airlines should I need to so that's pretty much it for Tuesday you can see here actually it's just not flowing really well too many tanks on the one pump sort of overpowering it I am getting decent flow off some of them but I just need a bit better than that so that's pretty much it for Tuesday I'll update you guys tomorrow I'll show you the pump actually if anyone's interested don't sell those but it's probably worth worth you having a look at those those pumps if you ever decide to do a rack I say the 35 is fine for one rack or one and a half racks but when you're trying to run two off it it's probably a bit a bit too much so I'll close that for Tuesday we'll hopefully do a bit tomorrow I've got a hospital appointment tomorrow which I need to keep and a couple of other bits but hopefully we'll, we'll get some video done and I'll speak to you tomorrow so it's still Tuesday I've decided to do something slightly different in the shrimp room I have this bit of Tropica aquarium soil left over from the scape tank that I mentioned earlier and I've set up I've used the old filter here but I've set up using Tropica aquarium soil and shrimp back so the new coral drop back that smells beautiful that does just as a bit of a test really I will probably be moving this tank because I'm not sure what what I'm actually doing up here but uh, I'm just going to set this up and cycle it and just see what, what it gives me from a pH perspective. So it'll be an interesting experiment, that one, but I thought I'd share that with you guys as well. So on to work, back soon. It's now Thursday, short update. So this rack I've put on the top of here, as I just mentioned, the Tropica Soil tank, that's an experiment one. I've now moved over my experiment tank that's got red tigers and orange eyed blues. I've noticed that the red tigers have produced some wild type tigers. So I'll need to sort of keep an eye on those and decide what I want to do with those. And then I've also set up another tank on Blau Activa Soil. The pump that I was waiting for still hasn't arrived. I did get a message yesterday from Royal Mail saying your pump from XYZ is due to be delivered today by 7.30. And then at 6.30 on the evening, I got another one saying that unfortunately, they've been unable to attempt delivery. So whatever that means, who knows, maybe a van broke down or the guy went back sick or whatever, you know, and, you know, a guy or girl. Um, it is due to be delivered today. So I really need that because now I'm really struggling for air in here. Not massively, but I just want to get it done, you know, as you, as you do. So, so these tanks here, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them on here. I think the plan long term is just to get everything off this rack because I want to re-timber these shelves and with a slightly larger piece of timber on because the 50 centimetre tanks slightly hang over and I'm not happy with that. And I do have, as you can see here, I have room to sort of get slightly bigger timbers. So next plan is to get everything off here. Everything is off apart from the tangerine tiger tank i'll find somewhere for that but ultimately that's the tank that i want to move those into it won't cycle quicker than i need it to and then i need to temporarily just move this tank somewhere so what i'm probably going to do is do this bottom shelf change the way the air works or don't want the air pump there so that's the pumps that i'm getting actually the eco air but i'm having a, a pa 80 80 liter so i want to move that pump down onto the ground and pipe up the back with the pipe work so I think what I might do is do this shelf drain the water out of this tank move that tank down onto the shelf below and then do this one to just moving stuff around and if I do that I can move this tank temporarily as well so that that's the plan anyway it's Friday tomorrow Fridays tend to be pretty busy for me uh, from you know my personal life type thing and um, I'll hopefully get another bit of video done. So I'm, I'm always nipping in and out of here when, when my health allows me to. So we'll just keep cracking and, you know, we're, we're, we're close. We're nearly there. I just need a bit bit more of a push. The, um, 
I love this tank. It's orange or blues, red tigers. And I say they have produced some wild tigers. There's a little blue there, orange or blue if it will focus. So I do like them. It was a bit of an experiment tank. There was only a few of each left and they've just exploded. So hence me wanting to move the tangerines onto the same soil. So the soil's a bit weird. It looks almost silver when you put it in. But that is exactly the same soil. So the colour difference is vast. So it must just change colour with, with age, I don't know, but it's, uh, it is identical soil, so interesting to see that as well. So let's see how we go anyway, and I'll catch up with you later in the week. Welcome back, it's now Saturday, so a little bit of an update. So the new pump is in, it is very noisy, so I have got it on some dampening, but I need to sort that out, but highly powerful. The two tanks at the top are starting to get some good algae growth, so these are on ADA Amazonia. Everything in here is doing fine. I'm expecting to pick up some orange neocaridina for that tank in the week. Likewise, that bottom left one, uh, there's a, I've got another 100 fire reds coming. I moved the bloodshot down to that tank. And then what I did yesterday, and I've mentioned this before, is I had some really nice red galaxies. And I've separated them out and moved them onto here. They are still juvenile. I'm going to feed them with a growth food from... Shrimps forever. Everything else doing fine, no losses. I've set up these top couple of tanks which have now cleared. Everything in here, I do need to tidy up the airlines, but everything in here now is running off that air pump, which was what was expected. And then moving over onto this rack, which is a nightmare at the moment. So I've got some sand and some soil down there. But if you can see at the bottom there, I've started piping in. So the idea is that what I want to do is currently I've got the pump there, excuse the drill. So currently I've got the air pump there, but if you can see at the back, I have piped in another feed. So that feed there will just be for this rack. And once I've, the, I need an extension lead, a short extension, because the cable on that pump is quite short and it won't reach up to my plug sockets up there. So a little bit of an update, it's very warm in here today, the room is at 23, I've turned the aircon off for a minute, do need to clean the glass and stuff. I've moved the shelf out of this one and replaced the MDF up here, so the idea is then that now I've got this timber here, it's a lot easier to screw lighting into and set my lighting up. Need to clip the cable ties and stuff and I'm desperate as you know to get these out but I am going to wait for cycle. Just while we're on the subject of cycle, my preliminary findings on the tropical soil was a pH of 6 and I'm currently getting 7 off that blow activa. I know this one's a little bit lower and they are the same soil so it might just sort of drop after a while. But uh, 6.4, 6.5 I'd be happy with. To be honest I'd be happy with 7. So fault on the light keeps going on and off on that one so that's uh, a higher light at the top there. I think it's a higher might be a nicro, can't remember. But a little bit of an update. I might do something tomorrow. So this is where I pulled... I know you should never take stuff out of a mix. But this is where I pulled the red galaxies out of. And they were just too nice to leave in there. And they're sort of a deep red. Um, don't get a full colour of it really. Because that light does give off a bit of a pink hue. But uh, I'll get some photos of these. Or I'll get some footage of these. I'll put a brighter light in there. And sort of get that going but that's it for now we've um, we've gonna I'm gonna go and get some timber on Monday morning and we'll get that other rack finished and all those other tanks in and start cycling those and then we'll have to make a decision on what shrimp we're going to keep in those as well so I'll probably update you tomorrow I'll do a bit of face on video but for Saturday that's pretty much me done cleared out a bit of salvinia so there's loads and loads of that and just need a general tidy up, a bit of a sweep. I don't want to move these out yet. And I do have to put some more airlines in that back one. But I've, I've run out, so I need to take this one out and unscrew those. But I've ordered some and a small extension lead off Amazon. So I should get that done tomorrow. should get that in. And I'm a bit tempted, if I'm honest, to run the 35 so I've got that in a box at the moment. It does get a bit hot, but uh, I'll probably take that out. And the 35 should be more than enough to run this rack, 
which is currently running on a 45 and then to keep the 45 as a spare just simply because the 45 has got more chance of running this circuit than the 35 as as we know so that's probably the plan we'll see how we go i'll catch up with you guys tomorrow welcome back shrimp fans it's now sunday i'm desperate to get this finished and the video out for you guys this evening so i was hoping to get a bit more done than i have i am waiting for an amazon order some upgrades to the room and extension lead to move the pump down onto the bottom shelf as we already mentioned and then i've also got a cctv camera that i can move around that's due to due to arrive today along with a fire alarm smoke detector and then i've also got an order of co2 fire extinguisher for the room as well so just trying to sort of get my safety aspect going i've moved everything off the top shelf and i've finally moved the sandrine tigers i've done this temporarily i've repurposed the little aqua L tank that we scrubbed down used a cycled sponge in there and i've just moved them into there no substrate or anything in there it is temporary until until their their tanks that they're going to live in cycled i've dropped a bit of choller in there but that hasn't sunk yet just to give them something to mooch around on i planned on doing quite a bit more so i'd planned on getting the air feeds in and getting some shelving out tomorrow i'm going to go to the timber yard and get the timber that i want because i want to change the way the shelves work and get all that sorted and then we can obviously start setting setting those up the end of the video has got some footage with a bit of music of some shrimp it is a little shaky i've got tripods and i've also got a phone gimbal but i can sort of move my phone around and stabilize the image but i don't know where it is and i've looked everywhere for it it's a nice dji one it's quite an expensive one for vlogging and stuff as you're aware i use my phone for video i'm currently sporting a gb t-shirt i've had this one a while and the bit in the middle is my camera and um, my camera my microphone so you guys get a bit of better audio so with that said i'm as i mentioned no no you know nowhere near as far forward as i wanted to be but further forward than we were before so i'm just going to flip the camera around and just show you what i've done with the tangerine tigers you've obviously already seen the other tanks i may move the red galaxies out of my mixed galaxy tank in with those red galaxies that we separated off but uh, that'll have to come later so amazon is due later today but i i won't have enough time to get the video finished so i'll end there and thanks as always for watching don't forget to hit the like button comments are always read subscribe share the channel you know with your shrimp friends and stuff and you know and, and aquarists not just shrimp fans because i think they'll be interested in it and it really helps us to grow the channel so thanks for watching guys look forward to the next video i don't think the next one will be the scape although my plants are due in this week so i'll just flip the camera and give you a couple of seconds on the tangerine tigers and then we'll end the video with a little bit of footage of some shrimp and some music shaky footage as i mentioned I'm going to have a good look for the gimbal this week. Hopefully we can find it and it makes the video a bit more stable. So signing off for this week. Enjoy the video. Speak to you guys next week. So what we've done is we've cleared this top shelf now. Avoid my electronic smoking device. So we've cleared this top shelf. Need to bring the timber off to get some new timbers in. I've cleaned out their tank so all of these will, will move that will stay there but probably be a shelf lower and then all i've done for now is i've got a cycle double sponge I haven't filled this tank up hence it's bubbling a bit just to keep a bit of flow and i've moved the tangerine tigers into there i think my plan is to move my red galaxies out of here into the other red galaxies as well and as you're aware we've obviously done everything else in here and you guys have sort of seen this already so I have moved some plants out actually. So I've put some chili anubias onto some dragonstone, which are, which is inert, so it's safe in shrimp tanks, just to get a few plants on things that I can move around in the future. So that's me signing off. There's a little bit of video at the end. Feel free to watch that. Like and comment, and I'll respond to as many as I can. Have a good weekend.